This is Kajol Jadav and I am here to explain daily current affairs for UPSC Civil Services exam. With missile strikes, the United States has irresponsibly escalated the Syrian conflict. How far it is true that seven-year-old Syrian conflict will be denounced? What is Syrian crisis? What were the root causes for Syrian crisis? What were the implications of Syrian civil war? What is the stand of India with regards to Syrian civil war? GS Paper 2 Bilateral, Regional and Global Groupings and Agreements Involving India and or Affecting India's Interests In this video, you can find detailed answers for all the above questions. The above article has been retrieved from thehindu.com dated April 17, 2018 What we are providing here is just a 10% sample out of the full-length video. Visit our website iasvideos.com to join the course and to unlock all videos. We offer this pendrive course cash on delivery on amazon.in too. Amazon will deliver our course to your doorstep. What is the context about? By launching a missile attack on Syria, US President Donald Trump has made good on his threat to use force if chemical weapons are used in the civil war stricken country. On Friday night, over 100 missiles targeted three regimes facilities. With this, Syria's chemical weapons program has been gutted. This is the second time Mr. Trump has ordered a missile attack on Syria. Last year, after a chemical attack in Idlib province, the US fired 59 cruise missiles at an airbase of President Bashar al-Assad. How far it is true that seven-year-old Syrian conflict will be denounced? Putin said Syria's president Bashar al-Assad is prepared to enact constitutional reforms and to hold UN supervised elections. It remains unclear whether Assad would agree to step down, something the US and the opposition groups had once demanded. Assad, in turn, praised Russia's military support for saving his regime. What is Syrian crisis? Syria is a West Asian country bordering Lebanon, Turkey, Iraq, Jordan and Israel. The civil war in Syria is regarded as the most brutal conflict in the world, which started off in 2011 and is still on. What were the root cause for Syrian crisis? Conflict between Shia Islam and Sunni Islam The root of this conflict can be traced to sectarian conflicts in the region existing there for centuries. Shia Islam and Sunni Islam are the two major denominations of Islam religion. With Saudi Arabia regarding itself as the leader of Sunni Muslims and Iran as the protector of Shia Muslims, the West Asian region is divided under these two leaders. Saudi and Iran started playing an important role in the geopolitical conflicts in the region. Absence of an accountable government Along with this, the absence of an accountable and democratic government in most of the West Asian countries created discontent among the citizens. A democratic movement against the authoritarian government started in Tunisia in 2011, popularly known as Arab Spring or the Jasmine Revolution. This inspired other countries in the region to raise their voice against their governments. What were the implications of Syrian civil war? The devastating civil war has set the country decades behind in terms of economic, social and human development. Syria's GDP today is less than half of what it was before the war started 
and it could take two decades or more for the country to return to its pre-conflict GDP levels. Most of the people in the region are living below poverty line. More than 250,000 Syrians have lost their lives in five years of armed conflict. Millions of innocent people have got injured and the conflict and 80% of the children are harmed by the civil war. Large-scale human displacement from Syria has resulted in global refugee crisis. Approximately 6.5 million people are internally displaced inside Syria. 1.2 million were driven from their homes in 2015 alone. What is the stand of India with regards to Syrian civil war? India has had good relations with Syria historically, but India has always taken a neutral stand to Assad's regime. India has a substantial interest in the field of trade and investment, diaspora, remittances and energy security in the region. Due to the Syrian crisis, India had to abandon its oil investments in Syria. Though India has not much dependency on Syria for her energy needs, the political stability in the entire West Asian region is very important for India. More than 7 million Indians are working in these countries and therefore the stability of the region should be India's priority. Recently, India abstained from voting on a United Nations General Assembly resolution demanding an immediate ceasefire in Syria. By doing so, India was trying to balance both US and Russia.